All right, y'all, we're gonna get into this video, man. What do y'all sent me? Hold on, let me see who exactly it was. Mbrown87 on IG who sent me this video to react to, all right? So we already know what has happened with Mr. PNB Rock, okay? Rest in peace, live in peace, because the soul never dies, it just transcends, guys. PNB Rock sacrificed by the industry. His girlfriend posted on her Instagram story her food from Roscoe's and Chicken. Roscoe's and Chicken. Why do I keep saying Roscoe's and Chicken? From Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. God damn it, bro. A lot of people are saying that the girlfriend set it up. Also want to shout out to Roberto Conspiracy Files for making this video. Let's see what Roberto has to say about this conspiracy. Let's get into the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey. Still a hoe. Let's get right into the video and let's get it. What's up my YouTube family? It's your boy Roberto checking in with another video guys. Roberto. So as you guys know, rapper PNB Rock was shot earlier yes, sir. Um, at a restaurant in Los Angeles mm -hmm. after his girlfriend supposedly posted their location on mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Well, he just is he has just been confirmed dead. Mm -hmm. Uh this is a shocker because I didn't expect him to be killed of all people. <laughs> But, you know, we already knew a sacrifice was coming. Mm -hmm. I told you guys that after the Queen Elizabeth, I said we're going to see more sacrifices. And you never know who it is, too. And if y'all have not seen, like, it's been an increase, a massive increase of rapper sacrifices, y'all. Rapper sacrifices. Every time we turn around, it's another rapper who is shot and dead somewhere, killed somewhere under some strange and odd circumstances, bruh. Always, you know, it's just happening more frequently, and I hate to say it, you know, but I don't. I'm not surprised. I when I, when I heard about PNB Rock dying, getting shot, yeah, it was a little surprising, of course, because it's always kind of surprising when you hear of a celebrity dying. But I mean, come on now, like he said, these sacrifices have to happen. They have to happen, and I don't know who PNB Rock sacrificed. Uh, who he was a sacrifice for but drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think I really wasn't a PNB rock fan like that it was a couple of joints that I liked and that he was featured on that I liked but I don't really know his camp I don't really know if he had any you know beef industry beef or anything like that I don't know if anybody on his label is now going to elevate because of this sacrifice so y'all let me know how y'all feel this um more big sacrifices coming that wasn't the end of it. And look what we have, a rapper down. Rappers have become the target. Mm -hmm. And the, the biggest prize trophy trophy mm -hmm. for sacrifices. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't notice, we always see rappers get sacrificed. Mm -hmm. I mean, more or less other people get sacrificed too, but the rappers, it happens more than anybody. Mm -hmm. Anybody. Mm -hmm. Fact. Why is that? Because right now, rap is the hottest industry out. Yeah, it so is. in order to it gain is. that fame and stuff like that, they get a lot of rappers on these contracts. Mm -hmm. And they don't read these contracts. Even when they get lawyers to read over them, they're not really reading them. Mm -hmm. They're not because they will do anything. They will sell their souls to the devil himself to get fortune and fame. Not understanding that when you enter the devil's playground, the devil does not play fair. They end up regretting their um, choices, their decisions. But at that point, it's too fucking late. You already signed your name on the dotted line, you know? So then, after they sign their name on that dotted line, y'all, there's sacrifices that they have to, there's sacrifices that have to be made, y'all, you know? There are sacrifices that need to be made, point blank, period. There's sacrifices that have to be made for you to uphold a certain level in the industry. There's certain sacrifices that need to be made to elevate your career in this industry. Imagine you being in the industry, the devil's playground, and expecting you to just, oh yeah, I can be successful, and as long as I do good at my music, no, that's not how it works, y'all. I'm sorry to inform you, I, I regret to inform you <laughs> that that's not how it goes. It's not, all right? It's sacrifices that have to happen. They're setting yourself up for failure because you never know if it's gonna be you or a family member. That's a fact. Know. That's a fact, what he just said there. I remember when Drake came out with this song where he was on the rise, y'all. It was a song with him and Nicki Minaj. It's up all night, whole crew's in here. I don't even know who I'ma lose this year. So basically, Drake was saying in that song, like, I don't know who I'ma lose this year. You already know, when you enter this game, 
That you have to sacrifice something, man. You got to sacrifice a relationship. You got to sacrifice one of your loved ones. All right? Sometimes you are the sacrifice. You looking over your shoulder constantly, bro. It's like a gang. It's like being in a gang. The devil's gang. All right? And if you're down, you always got to be looking over your shoulder. You don't, you don't know where it's going to come from. You don't know if your brother going to die. You don't know if you're going to die. You don't know if niggas trying to set you up. You don't know if that's really your friend or if that really is your friend. Will that friend take a, you know, a large sum of money to get you out of here? Will that friend you know, like get you set up to be killed to elevate their career? You just don't like who would want to live like that, y'all? Honestly, I'm talking to all the people who want to be rappers and all the people who want to be just super successful. Who really wants to live like that? The jewelry, the money, the cars, the clothes, all of that stuff, bro. Is it really worth living in fear every day of your life? Losing people all around you, people dropping like flies. Never really feeling happy because material things cannot make you happy, you know? Guys, think twice before you sell out. Think twice. It's never worth it. The devil is a lie. And the devil will use these shiny objects, material things, all this money, cash. If you notice, majority of celebrities, guys, are going to flex in front of you. I'm not trying to say that you can't, you know, show your success and you can't, like, be proud of what you have achieved and accomplished. I'm not saying that at all. But majority of the times... They are wanting to attract other people to sell their souls by dangling the carrot in front of their face. And the carrot be jewelry, money, cars, clothes, all of this stuff. All of this stuff, material things. The devil rules the material world, okay? The material world. But none of this shit we can take with us. And none of this shit makes our soul better, all right? None of this shit increases our consciousness or how can I say, elevates our consciousness or makes us better people. I'm not saying that we need to be broke out here because I definitely feel like, yeah, we should have money. We should be abundant. We should live abundantly. That's exactly how we should be living. However, everything comes with a price. Selling your soul comes with a price. You don't have to sell your soul to have the money, the cars, the clothes, the holes, or whatever you want. You can create that. It might take a little bit longer because we have beliefs ingrained in our subconscious mind that we have to untangle, we have to deprogram and reprogram new beliefs, new ideas that are going to get us to the level of success that we want. We don't got to sell our souls to the motherfucking devil, y'all. There's other options out here, trust me, okay? And everybody wants to go sell their soul to the devil because it's so much easier, it's so much faster, it's so much quicker. The devil can make you a celebrity overnight. Y'all heard a twist the song, I can make you a celebrity overnight. Satan can do that for you, you know? But I'm sorry, I would rather work my whole, the rest of my life trying to reach the goals that I want to reach than sell my soul to be a celebrity overnight, okay? So it, once again, if you guys are thinking about doing this, rethink it. It's not worth it. It's really not, y'all. It's really not. How long are you going to enjoy this? Now we're going to see a... A, a, a huge blow in his music right now. Yeah. His music is going to go big time. I'm telling you guys. So he probably was one of them artists who were, uh, uh, who they can make more money off of dead than alive. He was worth more in dead than alive. Because, all right. No disrespect, respectfully. Who really was checking for PNB Rock's music, honestly? Because it wasn't me. If you're a PNB Rock fan, my bad, okay? But I'm just saying, I don't know a lot of people who are really checking for PNB Rock's music like that, okay? So with that being said, like he said, the streams are finna go through the roof. This always happens when a rapper dies, when, you know, anybody who does music dies, their, you know, their, their music just does so much better, all right? And... I don't know if y'all know, but I have said in some of these conspiracy videos that some of these labels take out life insurance policies on these rappers, guys, on these rappers and musicians. So think about that. Sometimes they set you up to get you out, get you out the way to not only make money off of your streams and your music, but also to get that life insurance policy money, bro. Ain't that crazy? They're the beneficiaries. That shit was wild when I heard that, man. But anyway. Guys. It's not just these, uh, it's not always the streets. I keep telling people that. Facts. Everyone blames the streets. They want 
that's the thing, man. And I feel like they really, really, really do that with rappers. And I feel like that's a lot of the times why they use rappers and these sacrifices and stuff like that, man. Because it's so easy to tie a rapper to the streets and blame it on the streets. I've said this time and time and time again. Sometimes it's not the streets. Now, sometimes it could be a street nigga who will off you for some change. But think about it, man. There's a bigger picture. There's bigger forces who have conjured up, all right, this situation to make, to pull the strings and have everything happen, all right? Not all the time it's a street beef. Matter of fact, I, like, I believe that over, it's over 50%, okay? Like, we don't know for sure, but if I were to guess, I would guess that it's over 50 or 60% of these rapper shootings, guys, they were orchestrated. Wasn't no fucking street beef. It was orchestrated. They were supposed to get them out of here. You know, they were supposed to get them gone for whatever reason. PNB Rock. Believe none of what you hear and half of what you see, y'all. In reality, he hasn't really been in the streets in a long time. But he was killed in Los Angeles. Think about this, guys. He was killed in Los Angeles. Supposedly, we're gonna blame it on gang violence, but mm -hmm. we all know mm -hmm. this was a hit out by his label mm -hmm. to make money. Mm -hmm. This is all about money mm -hmm. and control. Money, power, greed. And what they're about to do, his, they're going to, he's eventually he's gonna drop an album after his death. Mm -hmm. We all know that's gonna happen. Same thing happened with Pop Smoke. Because that's what the industry does. That's Same how thing. they work. But his streaming numbers are going to go up. They're gonna mm -hmm. fly through the roof. He's mm -hmm. one of those rappers. In order for him to, you know, to really make a lot of money off of him, you have to kill him off. You have to sacrifice mm -hmm. him because he's peaked already. Mm -hmm. He's not the person he used to be. Wait, what is he called? He's dispendable or like, like they really didn't care. He was disposable basically. And it sucks to say that, but that's how these labels like, okay, we didn't suck them dry already. We already made the money that we needed to make off of him or that we could make off of him. Now it's time to get him gone, you know, and get whatever's left. Sad. But he's still somebody in the industry with a name. Mm -hmm. Who will be next? P&B Rock. Nobody seen that coming. Mm -hmm. Nobody. It could be anybody. And nobody would be happened. shocking. Literally not even a full week after Queen Elizabeth has died. Yeah. We had another big death. Yeah. Another big death. Yeah. Maybe not as big as Queen Elizabeth's, but it's definitely here a big one in the States. Yeah. These rappers have been getting killed left and right, and yeah. people don't think anything of it. Dropping like flies. All these ritual ceremonies. Yeah. You see them posting pictures, throwing up all these Illuminati signs. Mm hmm When nobody questions why, why are they dying instantly? Well, if you go do the research, you'll see right then and there that they signed the contract that they don't know what's in the contract. Mm. They don't know how to get out of it. Mm. All they know is somebody or whether it's them or somebody else is going to be killed. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice for the greater good. <laughs> the elites. And a lot of times when they make these sacrifices, they're the ones drinking the blood of these mm -hmm. celebrities that they're killing. Mm -hmm. Because their blood is supposedly more value, valuable than the average person that they're doing these ritual ceremonies and drinking their blood in. Mm -hmm. This is a war. Spiritual warfare. A war. For your soul. Going on right now. Mm -hmm. For your and soul. people continuously are dying. So stay elevated, man. Stay elevated, guys. You have to stay woke out here. You got to work on your connection with God because it's getting ugly, man. It's really getting ugly. Yeah. Everybody's going to get on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff and mourn the death of him. And they're going to try to make another Nipsey Hussle thing happen. But we all know why this happened. Same way, pretty much. He was shot up. Mm -hmm. Shot three. up because his girlfriend posted their location on Instagram. And they eat at these restaurants all the time. Mm -hmm. But guys, watch who profits from this. Watch the labels. Mm -hmm. Watch how much money they start to make because his streams go up. Mm -hmm. Watch an album drop within the next month or two. Yeah. Like I said, y'all remember Pop Smoke after he passed away. What happened? They dropped another album. His label dropped another album, bro. They, they probably might sneak out a mixtape to see how much hype it has. 
It's crazy. And then again, bro. you got to see rappers that are around him during his prime start making big moves. You're going to see rappers start mm -hmm. blowing back up. That's what I'm saying. I'm, a, I'm like, I don't know who he was a sacrifice for, but like he said, you're going to see somebody blowing up, somebody who was around him, somebody who was an enemy, somebody, you know, like tied to him. Sometimes it's somebody who's not tied to him, but nine times out of ten, it's somebody who was in a circle or somebody who didn't like him or had beef or something like that. But you'll see their career start to elevate, bro. That's not for no reason. I don't know. Y'all just got a peep game, and it's so sad, man. I remember just growing up and just being like, man, I want to be famous. And I feel like a lot of kids just want to grow up and be famous and all of that. And then, you know, I found out about all of this stuff that happens in the industry, and it's just very sad. It's very sad because it's like, man, you want to go live your dreams, and you want to like, oh, man, I just want to do this, and I want to do that, do that. But you realize whose playground it is, you know? And like I said, the devil does not play fair. And I'm not trying to play with Satan. I ain't got no business playing on Satan's territory, on his playground, bro. Don't no playing happen. You get played when you play on the devil's playground, point blank, period. It's just so sad that a lot of these kids, they grow up and they want to be the next Drake. They want to be the next Chris Brown. They want to be a popular this, popular that. And they just don't know what comes with it. And, you know, they don't read their contracts, like you said. They don't fully understand what they're getting into until they're in too deep and they can't get out of it. They don't know how to get out of it, you know. And most of the time it's blood in, blood out, you know. The only way out is to lose your life. And some people have taken their lives, you know. Some people have committed suicide. Some people have, you know, whatever the case may be. But in my opinion, there's always a way out, guys, you know. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty because once the devil has your soul, he feels like he owns you. So, yeah, you can turn to God and you can do this and you can do that. But he's going to, you know, totally destroy your character. He might even try to kill you or whatever the case may be, man. Because once you sign your name on that dotted line, you are breaking your oath by going against what you signed up for. Point blank period, guys. It's really sad. You're going to see rappers dropping music that he used to make songs with, he used to deal with, he had ties to. Mm-hmm. I just seen DDG, and I'm not saying DDG had anything to do with this or knew about it or anything. All I'm saying is I seen DDG post on his IG story um, a song that he did with PNB Rock. So yeah, people are going to benefit from it, and not everybody who's posting, you know, old songs of PNB Rock are just trying to use them for cloud or whatever it is. All I'm saying is, man, you just have to. The streets is always watching, and you have to see and you have to peep what's going on here, you know. All of this is going to happen in a short span of time. Yeah, because right now it's hot. Right now it's hot. So they're going to do everything they can to like pump this story, PNB Rock, PNB Rock, blah, 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 and try to put all the promotions behind whatever they're about to release for them and all of this stuff, you know. Yeah, they're definitely, the labels are about to eat off of this situation like they do in every celebrity death. Death by sacrifice. Yeah. The industry it's ugly. is absolute power, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These sacrifices come in threes. Mm-hmm, that's true. Queen Elizabeth, PNB Rock. Who's next? One more big sacrifice is about to happen. And it will be either an actor or actress, an actor or actress, or an athlete. It's going to be one of those two. But it's a possibility it may be another rapper. It may be another rapper. I could be wrong because rappers are big up on the stage. At this point, we don't know. It's going to be somebody, though. It could be another you know? musician. <laughs> I don't think it'll be another political figure, but I believe it's going to be either an actor or actress or somebody in professional sports. Mark my words, guys. Watch out. Be prepared and stay woke. At the end of the day, man, these celebrity deaths, yeah, it's interesting to talk about them and all of that. But at the end of the day, man, like I say, a majority of these videos, stay prayed up, y'all. Stay prayed up. Stay close to God. Stay connected with God. Work on your relationship with God. Envision the life that you want for yourself. Envision the feelings and emotions that you would want to feel every single day. You know, program positive emotions. Program abundance, happiness, peace within yourself. You know, love, 
Program these positive emotions into your subconscious mind, guys. We need it. We're going into spiritual battle here, spiritual warfare. Can you not see what's going on in the world right now, y'all? I feel like we living in a movie, you know? And since we living in a movie, notice that you are the main character. You can shift whatever you want in your life around. We don't have control at all over what's happening to these celebrities, okay? But you have full control over what happens to you, 100%, okay? So... Take it upon yourself to do what a lot of these celebrities cannot do, and that's take control of your life. Make the decisions required to elevate your life in whatever way. Get your life right, get your mind right, get your relationship with God right, get your connection with God right. That's the most important thing. Let's not allow these distractions to get in the way of elevating our consciousness, becoming our higher selves, tapping into our limitless potential, y'all. All right, so if you're watching this video, it was for a reason. Shout out to PNB Rock, RIP to PNB Rock. But at the end of the day, there's a bigger picture, guys. All right, and even this is a distraction from your purpose here on earth, from you elevating, you enjoying life, you just, you know what I'm saying, tapping in, like I said, to your inner consciousness, your, 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 your limitless potential. This life is great. It really is. There's a lot of fucked up things that are happening in this world right now, but should we focus on that? I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on love, happiness, joy, what I can do. How, how can I live my best life out here? How can I suck the juices of life, you know, out of this thing that we call life? We don't have a long time. Let's make it a good time. All right, that's all I want to say. Make sure you guys stay prayed up. Like I said, stay woke. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their your mama, tell their uncle Joey Stillahaw. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.